Morning, ladies and gentlemen, Birds and Worry here. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So, my sister, my brother, did you take time out to look in the mirror today? The mirror? When we look in the mirror or look in the Word of God, it gives us specific instructions on how we live to how we need to live each day for Him. So I hope and you also know that it's late on this planet Earth. This earth is becoming an old garment, and the solution is Jesus Christ. And he states, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. Let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I just thank you for this beautiful day, Father God. I ask you right now that you will decrease me, Father God. Allow your Holy Spirit to take full control. And I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, scripture reading is coming from Proverbs 18, verses 10. Proverbs 18, verses 10. And it says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. May the Lord add the blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. I know my Bible is falling apart, this particular one, because... I do a lot of study in this one. I, I got so many other Bibles, but I like this one because of the hourglass, right? You can tell what time we what 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 time we are on this planet Earth. We're running out of time. And if you look, you see just a little bit of this sand left in there. And we know all the commandments have already fulfilled except for one. And that's when um they're going to institute the um uh, nationwide, worldwide, forcing individuals to worship on Sunday instead of Saturday, the Lord's Day. So my sister and brother, so get ready, get ready. Jesus is coming back soon. So as we continue uh, into our study from Faith and Works, and this is by Ellen G. White. Can you guys see that? Ellen G. White. Let me look over here. A lot of glare coming from my, from my light. I wanted to go outside this morning, but it was kind of a little bit cool. So I decided, okay, I'll just come back inside the house, right? And so let's go into the topic today. So we are looking at faith and works. So remember last week, we uh, the controversy ended. And now this is the part that we need to know the faith and the works in order for us to receive eternal life. So faith and works, okay? So the holy of grace, this is the topic for today. The light given me of God placed this important subject above any question in my mind. Justification is holy of grace and not procure by, or we say not obtained by any works that fallen man can do. The matter has been presented before me in clear lines that if the rich man had money and possessions and he made an offering of the same to the Lord, false idea comes in to spoil the offering by the thought he had merited the favor of God, that the Lord is under obligation to him to regard him with special favor because of this gift. There has been too little educating in, li in clear lines upon this point. Let me, let me repeat that. There has been too little educating in clear lines upon this point. The Lord has lent man his own goods in trust, meaning that he requires be handled back to him when his providence signifies and the upbuilding of his cause demands it. The Lord gave the intellect. What did I say? The Lord gave the intellect. He gave the health and the ability to gather earthly gain. He created the things of the earth. He manifests the divine power to develop all its riches. There are his fruits from his own husbandry. He gave the sun, the clouds, the, sh the showers of rain to cause vegetation to flourish. And God, as God's employees servants, let me go back, as God employs servants, 
you gathered in his harvest to use what you want required is an economical way and hold the balance for the call of God. You can say with David, for all things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. And this is coming from first, um, uh, with the current uh, first uh, Chronicles chapter twenty nine verses fourteen. So the satisfaction of creature merit cannot be in returns to the Lord His own, for it was always His own property to be used as He in His providence shall direct. Should I repeat that? So the satisfaction of the creature merits cannot be in returns to the Lord's his own. For it was always his own property to be used as he in his providence should direct. So that concludes my topic today, the holy of grace. So tomorrow we're going to go into God's favored forfeited. God's favored forfeited. That would be our topic for tomorrow. So let um, let me share with you my devotion for this morning. I need to drink some water. So here we go. And this is choose e each day. Choose e each day. The entrance of thy word give it light. It give it understanding unto the simple. And this is coming from. Uh, Psalms 119 verses 130. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God. Continue to be with me as I share my devotion, Father God. I ask you to continue to take full control. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The officer, meaning that it's the more often, the more often the New Testament is read the more instructive it becomes. And, and then it's like the, the word the officer offer, offer her, that is a, that's an old English word. And so we could just say, uh, the more often the New Testament is read, the more instructive it becomes. No one ever wearies of its beautiful words, for they are like precious gems. The deeper the research made, the deeper the research made into them, the newer and more splendid the light reflected them. The deeper the research made unto them, the newer and more splendid the light reflected by them. The more we study the word with a simple, trustful heart the more we understand the path we must travel in order to reach the paradise of God. Our life is sometimes, our life is something, our life is something we receive from Christ. By, by, sorry guys, I'm having uh, internet problems. I, I knew I was having internet problems last night, so just bear with me. So let me go back to the last um, sentence. It state, the more we study the word with a simple, trustful heart, the more we understand the path we must travel in order to reach the paradise of God. Our life is something we receive from Christ by a study of his word. In him was life, original, unborrowed. He was the fountains of life. We receive life from the Savior, which he takes back again that life which god has given us should be put to the very best account for as human agents we are forming our own destiny we need to choose wisely those associates who will best fit us body soul and spirit for the future country even the heavenly in our choice of companions we should not place ourselves under influence that are in any way unfavorable to the formation of pure and correct principles. For we need all the assistance we can possibly obtain in our association 
we may develop characters after Christ's likeness. Christ said, To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my Father in his throne. This is coming from Revelation 3, verses 21. Let me pray again. Father God, I ask you to calm my mind and my spirit and keep me focused. And I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. It says, there are temptations that we must meet. What did I say? There are temptations that we must meet. If we, if we yield to them, we are on the losing side. And by meeting with defeat again and again, it becomes a habit to do wrong in the place of doing right. Should I repeat that? Okay, it says, if we yield to them, we are on the losing side. And by meeting with defeat again and again, it becomes a habit to do wrong in the place of doing right. We are thus revealed that we choose to work out the principles and the attributes of Satan rather than the principles and the attributes of Jesus Christ. A Christian will not choose as the object of his affection, one whom by his course of action neglects Jesus Christ, who daily crucified the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. Such revealed by their actions and conversation that they have no respect for the one who gave his life for the life of humanity. Enduring for them poverty, temptation, self-denial, and self-sacrifice. Through all his life, there he was unappreciated and, un and misunderstood, even by the members of his own family. Should I repeat that? Through all, throughout all his life, here he was unappreciated and misunderstood even by the members of his own family. Satan was constantly suggesting to his brethren, the sons of Joseph, let me see, sons of Joseph, criticism, the sons of Joseph, criticism of the one who seems so unlike themselves. Every solicitation to evil was refused by him because he would not be persuaded to accept wrongdoing or to deviate in the slightest form. It is written, he seems to have scripture treasures in heart and mind. He seldom rebuked their course of action, but always have a word from God to speak to them. It is written. So this uh, conclude my devotion. Uh, Choose E each day. Choose E each day. So we all have to make a decision, my sister and brother. Each moment, whose side you're going to be on. There's only two sides. There's no middle ground, my sister and brother. No middle ground. It's only going to be on God's side or you're on Satan's side. And so whenever we do things, we got to say, okay, whose side am I on? Based on what you're thinking, based on what your hands are doing, that dictate whose side you on. So if I'm saying, well, went to my friends, I mean, I don't have friends, uh, I went to my friend's house, or you, you know, they're drinking and they're smoking and they're carrying on, then you know that you on Satan's side, you on Satan's ground, right? Even if we're just sitting around and we are gossiping about this one, gossiping about that, that's right then you on Satan's side, right? Because we got to make sure, my sister, but everything we do, and if I'm eating something that it's scripture said that we should not be eating, right? I know a lot of people that still talk about this white meat and that is pork. Pork was never supposed to be in your diet, period. Shrimp, lobster, crab, all that stuff is at the bottom of the ocean. What do they do? They clean the ocean. So why would you eat stuff that's supposed to be clean the ocean? You might as well just, you know, get yourself a, a um, go in the garden and get some worms that might be more healthier for you but you know what i mean you know but it's just it's just it's a scavenger we should not be eating scavenger putting scavenger in our body and even though we talked about 
you know, the Lord talks about in Leviticus about the clean and unclean uh, food that we can eat, right? Even though a state is clean, there was still a requirement for the clean meat that you ate. Remember, the blood has to be drained. There was no, supposed to be no fat in there, right? So if there's no blood and the fat is drained, my system, rather that meat will be so tough. That's why I guess they had the meat tenderizer. The meat will be so tough that you will not be able to enjoy that meat. And then if you think about it, as we come in closer to the end of earth history, it would be, behoove us if we take and, and really think, okay, if uh, if wickedness is increasing in the uh, if wickedness is increasing in man what's going on in the animal kingdom so you know that diseases is increasing in the animal kingdom they're giving these animals injections of all different kinds they're eating their own self and all this other stuff right so if you know that what does that mean if you partake of an animal remember the, the, the criteria for a clean animal, it had to be, the blood had to be drained. There was supposed to be no fat, right? Right? So if that was the case, do you know, oh, and then the animal had to be killed a certain way. Do you know that meal that you just had or that meal that you're about to have, how that animal was killed? Do you know if the blood was drained? Do you know if they cut the fat out? I mean, do you know, do you know, do you know? No, you don't know, okay? You don't know, okay? But even if I had, you know, I went and, to, and I got some chicken and I grown my own food and grown my own animals and all this stuff, but it's still in the in the DNA, my sister, my bro brother, it's still in there. So why would you continue partaking of something that even though, remember the restriction was they had to be, in, you know, I gave, it, gave you the, the criteria according to Leviticus, the blood had to be drained. There was, it had to be killed a certain way. It had to be, blood had to be drained and there's no fat, right? So that was the criteria. So when you, or when I was eating meat at one time, I did not know about all these different criteria. You know that I knew that, but the clean and the unclean, but it goes a little bit deeper than that. And once you read your, your word and the word has become clear, you would not be want to partake of that because that then, according to Leviticus, the animal would not be clean because it was not, how would you say, it was not cared for the right way. It was not killed and the blood was not drained and the fat. So then it would not be clean, okay? It would not be clean. But besides, you know, if you think about it, if Jesus is soon to come, why would you be partaking of something that you know is disease? It, they, they've been giving all these steroids and whatever it is to, in the, to the animal. Why would you be eating of that? Why don't you just go back to the original source? What does that cow eat? What did that lamb eat? What did that chicken eat, right? Why don't you go back to the source, you know, the vegetable, the, you know, all that stuff. That's what they ate, right? So why don't you just go back to that source and eat from that instead of getting it second or whatever and not only that you're getting all the other diseases so my sister and brother study 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 so that you will be able to stand because remember if you are sick if you have ailment how in the world can you make a decision remember we have to keep our frontal lobe clear our mind clear okay but if i'm in pain how can i make a decision you will be off you'll be off right and then Actually, so let me go into my stuff because my, my internet is, is acting up again. So let me just go into my list. But you, I mean, the point is clear, right, my sister, my brother? The fact is you need to study for yourself and stop listening to what the media and all of those people are saying. Remember, they're not even on your side. They are not on your side, okay? So turn that stuff off. Okay, so I said, come labor on. Come labor on. Who dared stand idle? On the harvest plain, while all the round him wave the golden grain, and to each servant does the master say, Go work today. Come labor on, claim the high calling angels cannot share. Too young and old the gospel gladness bear. 
Redeem the time, it's ours too swiftly flies. The night draw nigh. Here's the last verse. Come labor on, no time for rest, till glows the western sky. Still the long shadows over our pathway lies, and a glad sound comes with the setting sun. Well done, well done. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I just thank you, thank you, thank you for this beautiful message today. Father God, I thank you for my sister, my brother that stopped by here today and the ones that will be stopping by in the future. Continue to bless each one of us, Father God. We give you all the praise, the honor, and glory. And we thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, thank you guys so much for stopping by. If this was a blessing to you, can you guys hit the like button? Hit the share button, make a comment, follow me over on YouTube under Burdell Warrior, hit the subscribe button, bell notification, and either whether you're not on Facebook or YouTube, you can give me a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, okay? And I appreciate it. So here we go. You know what I always ask you, right? <sighs> May I have a hug, a hug, a hug, 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 time for hugs, right? There's nothing like giving yourself a hug. Here we go. <gasps> One, two, three. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my sister and brother, for that hug. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it.